the country knows this with certainty, Ethiopia is a woman, and Ethiopia's grandeur sings to each other with the voices of women. Strength and energy, water and life, mountain and plain, religion, traditions, stories and legends, festivals, ceremonies and hospitality, memories of the past and hope for the future. Ethiopia is wife, mother, sister, widow from the war, from hunger and from poverty, neighbor and friend, student and teacher, professional and farmer, the head of the family who courageously faces the daily challenge of survival. And Ethiopia is also its men, willing to go down the road of progress to return to their country the greatness of an unconquerable people, set back by decades of war, poverty, hunger and isolation. In the regions of Tigray and Afar, the Spanish cooperation represented by the Spanish Agency of International Cooperation for Development, AECID, is making great strides in supporting the rebirth of the country, providing the necessary tools to guarantee a future for its people. It is about tens of thousands of small farmers and nomadic shepherds, who due to the isolation that is only contributed by an unpredictable and impenetrable terrain that makes the arrival of development impossible, the country seems to have been anchored in a remote past in which ancestral traditions live on. Manos Unidas is the Spanish NGO in charge of coordinating this task. Working side by side with its on-site partner, the Adigrad Diocesan Catholic Secretariat, ADCS, they are pushing forward a four-year-long program whose main goal is to guarantee food sovereignty in four districts, or WADAS, that form part of these crippled Ethiopian regions. The Programme for Integrated Rural Development, IRDP, looks to guarantee the human rights to water and food while keeping in mind the recovery and sustainability of the environment. El que estamos implementando, que es el rural, está en cuatro guaredas y en dos regiones de Etiopía, en el norte de Etiopía. Un poco la, el criterio de selección de estas guaredas fue las regiones que el, la ECI también marcaba dentro del país y sobre todo porque eran regiones con una gran inseguridad alimentaria que era el objetivo general del convenio. Entonces sí que se decidió, tanto por el apoyo de AECIT como también un poco la, la, la aceptación de la contraparte de ADCS, abrir a la región de Afar, que es una región poco o que reciba poco, poca ayuda en cooperación debido un poco a las dificultades de la región. Entonces a, quisimos aprovechar un convenio de cuatro años para ver cómo se podía empezar a trabajar con la gente en términos de cooperación, que no fuera la ayuda la ayuda puntual, que es lo que ellos están más acostumbrados debido a la emergencia. The face of indifference. As the one of Hawa Dawo, whom we met in the Muslim community of Mawo, where the program of AECID and Manos Unidas has built a series of wells that have changed substantially the life of women and that of 330 families in the district. <laughs>
الريع عندما رفنا الدين أكسوكين فنا الرب كان ما ترك سوكين وهرب دبيا كيت أكسوكين يا عبيني إن كله يكادو تكيم كان يحاوك مسوكين وساعة كادو تودعنا جايا نه حاوك مسوكين. Traditionally in Mayo, women do not participate in community decisions, but the program has made sure that this will not happen in the meetings of the water committee that has the responsibility to decide the maintenance tasks of the well and which is equally composed of three men and three women chosen by the community. <laughs> The face of adversity. Plowing is not easy. Halima Abdella, as a child, was made to believe that plowing was the domain of men. And until the program arrived in her community, that belief had remained. She saw it with her mother and for many years she lived it herself. It was hardly worth it to be owner of this small patch of land when more than half the crop was due to be given to the man who plowed for her. All of her labor accomplished, with the intent of helping her children get ahead, was rewarded very little when the harvest only yielded enough for their survival. <laughs> With every furrow, she lifts clods of dry earth. She and her oxen, like a constant defiance to the sun, to the once useless dirt, and to the norms that discriminated against her, works without resting under the blazing sun, knowing that tomorrow her sweat will become her harvest. In Mawa, 12 women have already been able to adopt this role that up to now has always been reserved for men. When the program ends, it is expected that this number will rise to 310 in different zones of the program. The face of energy. Another one of these women who represent the strength and energy of Ethiopia is Abeba Gidi, who we meet in the warda of Gulom Mikada in the village of Rijbe Midbe in Tigre, the other region where the program of Aisid and Manos Unidas is being carried out. Women collect water from this source as if it were a treasure, a treasure that flows pure from the springs of the program that have contributed to lessen gastrointestinal illnesses among the hundreds of benefited families. Every day, morning and afternoon, this widow and head of the family sets out on the same path in search of the clean water that flows from a water source built by the program. Adeba loads a water tank onto her back that is, one that you find everywhere, in every house and every field, as if they were another element of the Ethiopian landscape. A water tank that, when full, weighs close to 20 kilos, and that the children and women of Rij Bay, Mead Bay, seem to carry with an amazing ease. <laughs>
ነታ ነገራራ ይሁን ተሕማቅ ማይ ከምጸሉ ነታ ተሕማም ዓዲጋ ከምጸሉ ይሁን ክንደይ ሰዓታት ስለዘውደለ ዝነረ ብዙሕ ሽግራት ነይሮ ዘዓድ ዝብል ስተይለን ተ ፌስ ኦፍ አይሶሌሽን ኢን መሹ where aid had ever arrived before Ayesid and Manos Unidas have made the provision of water possible for the consumption of 123 families. Two systems situated in the height of the mountain, where one can only arrive by foot after walking more than an hour from the road, can provide for two isolated communities. <laughs> The Nomadic Shepherds Committee of Mishul welcomes us where the road ends. Every day, when the sun starts to set, they meet to address the matters of the community. Here, we find ourselves with the face of isolation, their faces with the sharp wrinkles of life, like the mountains that surround us. The unpredictability of the terrain makes the movement of vehicles in certain parts of the water of Sasi Taisada Ember in the village of Mishul almost impossible. Precisely due to its inaccessibility, this isolated area, situated between the borders of Tigray and Afar, lacked the most basic infrastructure. Se ha trabajado en intentar rehabilitar zonas erosionadas por dos motivos. Por un motivo, la zona erosionada, cuando se queda rehabilitada, puede ser una zona de cultivo tanto para cultivo de vegetales como cultivo de, de forraje o de paso de animales como el hecho también de que si la zona está rehabilitada, el agua se filtra y se consiguen más puntos de agua y se mantiene durante la época de lluvias un agua que antes si no se perdía. Thanks to this initiative and others that has been possible with the work of four years of a team of more than 30 people, progress is making headway in these remote corners of rural Ethiopia. The main vulnerability of Ethiopia and Tigray, where we find ourselves, is that whatever instability, climate or personal, produces a serious prejudice towards the villagers and farmers. In the community of Simret, situated in the water of Ganta Afshum in Tigray, four kilometers of canal and its corresponding irrigation points, which encompasses some 26 hectares, have benefited Kishen Ketama, her daughter Fana, and another 250 families in the community that, thanks to the program, do not need to travel a long way in search of food for their dependents. Again, we find ourselves with one of these women who make Ethiopia strong. Widow, head of the family, tireless worker, and conscious of the fact that the fruit of her labor is the only way for her daughter to have a different life than her own. A future which for Fana seems distant while she watches the livestock and plays with her neighbors, but that has started to come about in areas that began to bear the hoped fruits. Surely, uh, our hope is very high. This project will change the life of our people. Uh, it is funny enough, it is from Christian Highland down to the Muslim lowland. Even we are outside of Tigray region, uh, which is very peculiar for the Catholic Church because we look at human beings, not at religion or at race or at sex. Uh, so we are happy that we are helping or being bridge between Spanish government, Manish Unidas, uh, and the beneficiaries. Evening arrives.
arrives at the patio of Lem Lem's house. The sun begins to set and gives way to night's coolness. Far from the hustle and bustle of the city of Adgirat, headquarters of the program, we give a face to the people that we have been meeting throughout our journey. We give a face to the men and women who form a country that, despite having experienced more than significant economic growth in the last few years, still remains among the least developed nations in the world. Ethiopia is as many faces as the people it houses. Faces half hidden behind the veil of indifference, marked by profound grooves which characterize life, or forged whose base is effort and determination.